Hey guys, Mimic here again with another video, Throne and Liberty content creator here, making a quick video here, and this one's going to be about armor upgrading. How do you upgrade your armor? How do you get beast armor and defeat your foes by having Chad armor? I'm going to explain all of that in this video. So let's jump into it, okay? First thing is every day you log into the game, there's this lady called the Contract Coin Merchant. You're going to want to come here, okay? And I come, I do everything in Bienta Village. And this is where she is. She's like right here, okay? Uh, and just to give you a heads up, this is what the map looks like. So Bienta Village is right here. And the lady you want to talk to is right here. She's a contract coin merchant, okay? Now, you need to be in a guild for... Um, actually, for this one, you don't need to be in a guild. You see these coins here? I have 1800 almost 1900 of them you get them from doing contracts and i'm going to make a separate video here either today or tomorrow in regard to what contracts are how to do them and and like why you want to do them but this video is just about armor upgrade so when you do the contracts they give you these coins for completing them you can then take those coins and you can buy these growth stones these growth stones which you also get for playing the game completing tasks doing your missions doing dungeons and killing uh killing mobs you get these just by actively playing the game so i don't want you to feel like you can't get these unless you're doing your contracts that's not true you just get these coins by doing the contracts so you can buy additional ones which can help you uh speed up your process if you will in the game now you can see here i can buy three quality weapon growth stones green ones every day and they cost 12 of these coins for one so i'm just gonna buy them these are my growth this is what i use to make my weapon stronger the quality armor growth stones this is what you use to make your armor stronger the quality accessory growth stones this is what you use to buff your accessories okay and then you can buy rare ones as well but these are limited even more because obviously the rare ones are they're more rare right they um they're going to be upgrading your blue armors and stuff so i'm just going to buy those you can buy two of those you can buy two here and then of course you can also buy lithographs i'm going to make a separate video on lithographs and why you want to be crafting lithographs but for now let's just talk about armors and accessories you can see here my daily payout that i'm gonna have to pay is 258 uh, of these tokens that's okay i've got 1800 so i'm just gonna buy them okay i bought those tokens you can see there on the bottom left uh, on my chat window it tells me what i've received and uh, i'm gonna run over here and we're gonna get into the armor crafting how it works what you need to do which pieces you should level up first things like that i'm going to try to make this video 10 or 15 minutes or less i don't want to make too long videos for you guys okay uh, but if you guys don't mind longer videos let me know in the chat let me know like hey i don't mind a 20 30 minute video then i'll make them a little bit more in depth and i'll try to go as deep as possible and try to give you guys the best content that i can other than that i'm going to try to keep them short unless you guys tell me otherwise so when you're trying to level up your armor and your accessories um you can do it here at vienta village you can also do it in other villages that have the armor upgrades but i like i just like vienta village i come here and do it you can tell here uh that the blue is where you want to be that's where you upgrade uh your blue if you've got blue and you're trying to go to purple then you want to come down here to stone guard castle because here is the purple merchants you can do the same thing that you can do in vienta but you can do them for purple items okay so right now we're talking about blue because that's where the majority uh of you guys are going to be for a while is your blue so here is your accessories crafter here is your armor crafter and if you got a blue weapon and you're trying to make it stronger or you're trying to buy a new weapon here is your weapon crafter now here at the crafters you can go in let's say i want to go to the armor crafter right and these are all the you, you know these are the head pieces that you can craft these are your cloaks that you can craft your armors you can craft everything in this game you either get as a drop or you have to craft it okay um but what i'm getting at is if you go to armor materials okay you can click here you can see that i can actually make growth stones here i can pay gold to make growth stones okay so you can see here i can make three rare armor growth stones but it's going to cost me 15 of the green armor growth stones well just a minute ago 
I had bought those green ones from that lady, remember? Because you get those refill every 24 hours. So that's why it's important to buy them every day because you can stack them and then you can come over here and you can upgrade them to the blue ones. Now, this is important because if you look, my my uh, my armor here. Let's say let's look look at my uh, let's look at my headpiece. Okay, my headpiece right now is level four. Okay, these are the stats that it currently has. If I can get it to level five, these are the stats it will have. Okay, I'm gonna make a separate video on what these stats are, how they work, which stats you want, which stats you don't want, and which stats are best in slot. That's gonna be a different video. This is just how to upgrade the armor and why you'd wanna upgrade the armor and which pieces you wanna prioritize. But I'm gonna make a separate video on that. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to make a video on and I'll also consider that, okay? so. It's level four. I know that if I upgrade it, I'm gonna get more melee defense. I'm gonna get more range defense. I'm gonna get some health regen and I'm gonna get some evasion. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna pretty much buff myself if I get to level four. However, I need another growth stone. I need one more growth stone to tap it, to make it go to five. Now there's a chance that it might just go a little bit. Then I'll have to get five more to tap it to five. So I'm gonna do that live for you guys really quick here. And you can see it also costs 2,300 gold as well, okay? Now, right here, you can see it says common, intermediate, greater, and special. That is the chance per tap that you have to get a big swing of XP. So I have a 40% chance that it's just a common roll. Common is like a little bit. Intermediate is a little bit more. Greater is a lot, and then special is like, it's like almost a whole thing, right? So you cannot D-level armor, um, you can only go up, okay? So I need a growth stone. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come over here to the armor crafter. I'm gonna make, uh, I'm just gonna make all three growth stones cause I need them anyways. It's gonna cost me 12,000 gold. I'm gonna craft it and you can just hit escape here. It's gonna make everything faster. Uh, and then you can see here I can make another growth stone, except this time it's costing rare magic powder and it's costing a rare stalin. Now, I'm going to talk more a little bit about these gems in a different video, but for now, I'm just going to craft. I'm just going to craft this, craft this, I can craft one. Okay. So now, when I go back over here and I look at my armor, you can see I have eight now. So I can successfully tap this one time. Let's see if I can get the five. Nope. That happens sometimes. You can see how close I am to get the five. I need two more armor growth stones. Okay. So obviously I don't have the materials for that. I'm going to have to do some contracts. Um, you can see here I can make some green ones. So I'm going to make the green ones. Remember, you can upgrade green to blue, blue to purple. So I'm going to make five green ones right now. It's going to cost me... Uh, 4k gold i'm gonna craft those and then i can craft one rare growth stone with that because you can see it, it it costs five of the green that i just crafted so i'm gonna craft that okay crafted it i'm gonna come back here and we're gonna take a look uh, you can see i still need one more so i would need one more growth stone so that i could tap this to five and you do this for everything you do this for your accessories too if you want to tap some accessories you come over here you come to the accessory materials you can see I can craft two accessories so I'm gonna craft those two cost 8200 gold I'm gonna craft them and then yep that's it that's all I got so let's see how many growth stones I have for accessories let's say I wanted to upgrade um, let's say I wanted to upgrade my belt you can see I've got five out of five so I can, I can technically tap this one time. Let's go ahead and tap it. You can see right now, magic defense is 160. It will go to 170 once I get it to level five. My health regen is 48.75. It's gonna go to 52.45, same with mana regen. So it's gonna give me some health regen. It's gonna give me some defense against magic. So it's decent, right? So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and tap this and see if we can get to five. Nope, only gave me a little bit. It gave me a common growth. So now I need five more so that I can tap this. And the way it works is whatever level you're on, it's always gonna cost one more growth stone per tap. 
So at level four, it costs five growth stones. At level five, it costs six growth stones and vice versa as you go up. So the higher level you go, the more it costs for you to actually uh, le level your gear, okay? So that's how that works. Obviously, purples are gonna cost uh, purple growth stones, not blue ones, because they're purple. Uh, blue ones cost blue growth stones, green, green ones cost green growth stones, and vice versa. But I just wanted to make a quick video. This one wasn't too long. I hope it makes sense, uh, and I hope I, don't, I didn't talk too fast, but that's how you level up your gear, is you need growth stones. And just really quick before I end the video, you get growth stones by doing a lot of the uh, exploration content. And I'll talk about this in a different video, but a lot of this content grants you these growth stones. You can see once I complete this regional exploration, I've got one more quest I need to do. They're gonna give me these growth stones. I'm, I, can, I can pick whatever I want. I can get weapon, I can get armor, or I can get accessories. And a lot of this content gives out really good stuff. So you'll wanna do a lot of the side quests once you're level 50, so that you can get those extra growth stones you can see here are purple growth stones which are very hard to come by late game you get um, weapon growth stones you get armor or you get accessories and you can pick whatever you want it's not going to give you all of them you can pick either or okay um so that's how you upgrade your armor is just with those growth stones make sure that you are constantly every day doing your contracts again i'm going to make another video on that here soon on what they are and why which contracts you want to do and where you want to do them for the best benefits uh, and make sure that with those coins that you're coming over here to the contract merchant and you're buying these daily refills okay on top of that right now they're having an event before i end the video they're having an event I, I don't know if this is refilled for me yet um, they're having an event here. Let's see, if you come here to this festival, you can use these coins that you get uh, by doing dungeons to buy more growth stones. Uh, you can see I'm sold out because you can only buy these weekly and I already bought my my weekly. I can buy these, I'll buy some weapon growth stones. Eh, technically, I don't need these anymore because my weapon's are already purple. Um, so I'll just hold off on this and use the points for the blue ones so I can upgrade my other stuff. But um that's pretty much it that's how all the armor enchanting goes in this game uh that's how you level up all your accessories all your armor pieces um to get your armor to blue you need to have it at plus nine you can see this is plus eight once i get it to nine then i can upgrade it to a purple piece okay that's how it works so hope it makes sense hope you guys gain some knowledge from this uh hopefully it helps you guys when na launch comes out and uh, if you guys have any questions or you want me to get in more depth about something else that I didn't cover in this uh, tutorial, just let me know and I'll make another video for you guys. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, uh, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Peace.